Μετά από Chris John, how was your time here bench so far? Where have you been up to? It's been great. My first trip here, so enjoying the weather. Um, we've been just doing some recording and photo session and video. Working on the mental video stuff. I don't know if we're the top of this. Top of this, yeah. We had to do that. It was the first time we, we met face to face. We made a physical version and we did it in a private space in my home and we filmed it. So, so. Right, how do you guys uh, feel meeting for the first time in person? It's great. It's great. Good. Uh, good. It's a great thing to meet him in person because uh, uh, I'm a fan of uh, Zon for many years. And it is something like a, a dream come true. It's different to meet in person than what we did of years ago. Uh, the altitude four years and we just emailed each other, never spoke or uh, How difficult was that to work together through the internet? It's actually how it's done these days. Uh, how did your collaboration begin? Yeah, it's Crystal Scott and he's working on this project. I couldn't really imagine any other voice on I would be able to do it, so I listen to the music and I was up and I was like, I just took a big song and I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. Yeah, all the way. Like, I, I had a song that uh, I imagined John singing, but I didn't know if uh, he would uh, collaborate. Uh, so I sent him an email um, asking to do just one song. He accepted doing it. And it felt very good. This is how it started. Yes, I came up with that question because, John, you get asked to work with other artists all the time. So I'm wondering what it is about Mythodia and Christos that made you agree to work with him. I just thought it was something different. You know, I'm looking for things that are on a high quality level as far as musicality and songwriting. Um, it just has a different kind of feel to it, different kind of sound. And I thought it suited my voice well. Um, it's yeah, it's just <laughs> it's a good fit. You know, you know it when you hear something you can sound. And uh, you have also a legendary bass player in the uh, of yeah, Steve DiGiorgio. Yeah, Steve. Um, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, John uh, suggested Steve. Uh, to be in this project. Um, at the beginning, I was playing also the bass, and uh, John felt that it would be better to have, uh, you know, bass player. And I knew his work from my intentions. Yeah. He's probably the right guy. Yeah, I think he's known since the late 80s, and he has done so many, so many albums. It was a great honor to have him in the album. I think it makes a huge difference. Yeah, huge difference. Yeah. You know, people a lot of times don't recognize the bass. It's sort of a, a hidden instrument, but the, the overall sound picture is yeah. so much different. Yeah. I was mixing the album and so we had a discussion with uh, Steve, and he said he said that um, you know, usually uh, the bass is uh, too low to listen and stuff like that. Like that, and I told him that I wouldn't have a, a legendary bassist and uh, very in the mix. Him in the mix. <laughs> so I tried my best to make him sound and you know, all his talent. He's, uh, he has a specific character in um, his playing. Uh, he uh, gave you his know how much things done, I think. At least yeah. six, probably. Yeah, six things. So you have all these different actors too, which is yeah. you know, makes a big difference in the sound. It was great work. Yeah, I really like that. Very close to him. How satisfied are you feeling that with that? Um, the album is great. Yeah, I'm very satisfied. We did our best with the means we had. I think we're already thinking about the next one. Yeah, and we're thinking about the next one to be better. Yeah, I mean, we love this album, but we're already making plans of how we can really 
Yes. From what you are saying, that the band is going to continue with their future album. I assume that the Lithuania is here to stay. Uh, is there a special moment or song in the album? Or is it? Maybe the first we recorded, Ahmed Payne. It's a uh, metal. For me, it was like a very touching listening to John West in my music. And then we had the song we Yeah, sweet. That was the uh, yeah. for your. Uh, Brothers. Yeah, uh, I composed it as a gift for my brother's wedding. So we did it you know, one month before the wedding. It was like a, 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 that was a good metal wedding song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> making it on the album. And the lucky brother. <laughs> my brother liked it. So, uh, do I? So I wish I'm having it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was here, so I'm already. <laughs> John, he wrote most of the Happy lyrics. Weddings. Yeah. <laughs> John, you wrote most of the lyrics on the album. Where did you get your inspiration? I, I take inspiration from all things, nature, life. Uh, I read a lot. I research topics. If he gives me a song title, I'll research things. And just, I have notebooks full of lyrics and song titles and ideas and things like that. I have a pretty good resource for writing stuff. So some of the titles he had already here. Just some things I just create. Sometimes it comes to me in a dream or something like that. Just like, any way I can get an influence, I take it in and sort of either save it for later or use it right away. Uh, you're still unsigned, uh, but you have self released your debut album, uh, limited the Digipack series. Uh, where can people purchase it? Uh, we can um, find it only online. And to our, our website, uh, it's uh, methodiaband.com. How do you spell? <laughs> methodiaband.com. Oh, you can also find it at the, uh, the sex shop. In six and shop. Yeah. So the sex shop is at six and methodiaband.com. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. There are only two locations. Two I know locations. Of. Yeah. John, all these years you have worked with so many artists and released also many solo albums. And do you feel satisfied? Not really. <laughs> I wouldn't be keep going as I was. I think you're always looking for the next thing. I'm trying to be creative. And I don't think when you get to this point you're just satisfied and that's the end of it. I'm constantly thinking of what to do next and how to sort of reinvent things the next solo record or the next Cody album and just moving forward. Uh, thank you both for your time. Is there anything else you'd like to share with your fans? Uh, we'd like to thank them for the support. And, uh, for those who find out about Methodia for the first time, I feel can check out uh, what we have done as a debut album and expect more for the future. I also think we have a little surprise that we've created since we're here in Greece together. We made something sort of special here. Yeah. During this. It's coming soon. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So far away and long ago, out of the blackness and dark shadows, seen only by my spirit, not my eyes. Is it a myth or my memories? I only know what my mind can say.